Hey everybody, just a quick tidbit uh, with regards to some of these new crypto things that you can kind of see coming online as far as ICOs and this is one that you want to be uh, weary of this type of thing, okay? Uh, <laughs> now on the surface, of course it looks great, Get hold crypto, get instant cash, so basically you're leveraging your cryptos um, onto a credit type system. So they'll lend you money based on how much, uh, what your portfolio is, and then you still will pay that money back. Um, but I mean, there are some different ones, different. Uh, I mean, it's still better than a regular credit card, I suppose. Um, but you're still handing your asset over to somebody else. That's what I want you to if. As soon as you see that on anything, that's when you want to kind of back away. I don't want I don't want you to lose your stuff. I don't want you to have it leveraged against you. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what it is. Um, where is the, the meat and potatoes here? Oh yeah. So <clears throat> hold is for visionaries. Mm -hmm. Store your crypto assets in our highly secure wallet. So anyone who knows anything about having a wallet is they're all highly secure as long as you store it properly, exposing your stuff to a company of full of people. So now there's guaranteed to be more than one person who can access your cryptos. Simple as that. I mean, this isn't a blockchain. This isn't... Uh, a new technology really I mean it is relatively new to the world but what these guys are doing is trying to transition credit bullshit into into the uh, the crypto markets which is you all know is it's not what I think they should be used for or most of us feel it should be used for freeing us from third-party vendors this is forcing us to stay stuck with third-party vendors so no good for me. No good for me. What I want is the uh, the 10x pay card, the one that is tied directly to your own crypto wallet that you set up all by yourself. You don't have to give your money to 10x. It's 10x. It is their own wallet. They do have their own wallet, but you aren't going to have to use it, and. Uh, in those cases, you know you can transfer what you need to that type of stuff immediately, and then you can go use it. You don't need to expose it for very long. It's kind of like if you're going to trade on an exchange. You wait till your time, you flip your cryptos over, change it into what you need, and then you flip them right back. Get them on and off the exchanges. It's the same, same rules, right? Uh, Coinbase. Don't store your stuff with Coinbase. So, any of them get your own wallets keep it out of these guys hands they're gonna go and use it to, to do other crap with guaranteed they aren't just holding your money for you <laughs> they're using your money so and I mean there's gonna be an ICO watch for the pop crash if you want it buy it after the crashes and after the initial the rise there because they're not the only guys doing this stuff and as far as I can tell uh, my companies like 10x are way ahead because they're getting banking licenses so this has got to be a credit card company let's see if we can do this together right now um, business model roadmap okay so you see here their public platform isn't set to launch until Q1 so early early 2019 <coughs> Total supply 1.3 billion. So at least there's only a certain number, but mm, the white paper. Ooh, Dr. Albert Wall. Hmm.
let's do some background checks. 20 years of entrepreneurial experience in private equity, investing in startups as well as SMEs and working in high profile corporations, BMW, IBM, Deutsche Bank. Oh, good, Deutsche Bank. Oh, that's what we want to see. I mean, some really good people coming in and out of those banks, I suppose. So, uh, my uncle worked for IBM for years. Uh, Europe's largest mobile payment platform. He'll now take on a supervisory role. Okay, so he's going to be their liaison, their face to the big money that already exists out there. <clears throat> uh, Nuno Korea, network advisor. Nuno is passionate about the disruptive and transformative nature of blockchain technology. He is well respected within the blockchain community, has an extensive network, which he has leveraged, co found several successful. V2C Ventures, chief amongst them is Utrust, the PayPal of crypto, raised over 21 million of funding in 2017, and uh, yeah, so not a lot of people know about Utrust, that should tell you where they are, I'm not saying anything negative about the business uh, that he started, <coughs> but these ones are all, they're all still startups, they're all small, and this is just a time when you know you never know what's going to happen. Uh, Paul Evans, a business advisor. So again, a lot of guys. Dr. Joseph F. Borg. So none of these guys. Borg uh, are are telling you what they are doctors of yet. Um, heads of blockchain advisory of the gaming and gambling advisory sections of the firm. He was previously involved in the Maltese Lottery and Gaming Authority, as well as Mo Okay, so, so far we have two guys here that have been involved with some very, very sketchy businesses and, I guess, lacking moral and integrity, some of those businesses, you might say. Now, so they've got some decent programmers here, it looks like. Which is easy to get, because there's programmers that just want to make money sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so Priya Lila Ramani. Um, Priyanka Lariyami is a pioneer in digital finance, having worked internationally across the U.S., Asia, and the U.K. Goldman Sachs. All right, so it's really it, this one's kind of hard to tough. It's, it's tough to judge the individuals and what their motivations was me. And I'm only when you start seeing Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank. And it already sounds like a credit card. I mean, you really hope that a lot of these people were like, they worked in these big banks and they're like, fuck, this shit is brutal. We can't keep doing this to these people. Well, how can we help? How can we change things? So, I mean, I don't know. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that you need to look into. If you haven't looked into a company for two or three hours before you invest in an ICO, then you shouldn't invest in it. At, at best, like if you want to make just pure speculative or guesses on ICOs, then just wait till they pop and crash and you, 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 like right away. Because generally they seem to lose quite a bit of value if they aren't ready to go live, which very few of them ever are. So just be careful. Don't give your money, your assets. You wouldn't store your silver. Right? The whole point of that is so people can't touch it. So don't let other people control your cryptos either. Um, unless you're getting a, a major kickback or bonus, you know, you're getting more coming your way to do it, then that's the only way it's worth it. So stay safe, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for watching and, you know, hodl on. We have to do something together to change the system. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.